Good morning, everyone. It's a Sunday morning. It's just coming up to 9.45 on Sunday, the 25th of October. And I hope this Sunday finds you well. I hope you're having a pleasant weekend. And I'm going to try and add to the fun this weekend by giving you a 60 to 1 free a double, one at Aintree and one at Hexham. So how's about that? Without trying to sound like a dodgy Radio 1 DJ. Um, well, yesterday and over the previous couple of days, we've been launching the Simon Says, the Go for Gold bet. And yesterday, anybody who came in was told that there was a free fourth bet, a banker bet waiting for them. Well, that bet was Botox has, which won at Cheltenham the first race, the Masterson's holding hurdle at 11 to 2 SP, having been as big as 7 to 1, an absolute procession job. Uh, Josh Moore took it up two out, beating a favourite and did, well, beating everything, did the business and that bet was there. So what a start for everybody who joined. Cloth Cap later, who I gave on here on Friday night, did get third. I think the rain, which came earlier than expected, ruined his chance of winning. Frodon did it like the absolute hero he is from the front. Do not forget about Cloth Cap. If he finally gets the fast ground that John Joe's chasing, there is a big handicap distance chase in that horse cloth cap. So they had an each way double as well with that and Botox has an eight to one place double the day before. Now I'm going to hold that over. It's 5.95 till the 1st of January. You can get involved. Everything will be sent by email. Today there's three bets uh, to be done as three each way singles and an each way treble. It's over 100 to one. So the Simon says the go for gold bet is there. You can still get involved. It'll be emailed straight to you. Now the bomb proof. I'm going to release a double bomb today, both at Aintree. One is around the 14 to 1, 16 to 1 mark that we've had a big word for. And one is a banker, an absolute banker. So you can get involved with them. They come to about a 40 to 1 double, 4.99 the pair. So really going for it, cranking it up. Aintree is one of my top courses, just like Cheltenham is. And no, no place for the wicked. If you want to get involved, there's so many options. You can look at the link below. If you're already in the bomb proof, you'll already be on these two. But you can join just for today, $4.99, and you'll get them straight back by text. Bang, as soon as you pay the $4.99. So we've got the Simon Says, and we've got the double bomb proof. So bookmakers, look out. This is going to be a big, big Sunday. Now, we might not end up back here, but it might pay for a holiday. Who knows when? So let's hope life can somehow get back to normal. Right. Aintree's first meeting. They're not over the Grand National Fences, but it's the Mild May course, a very pacey course, a very quick course. And the 3.42. Anybody else getting a bit sick of these silly race times? The 3.42 is a class two, two and a half mile hurdle. Now. Nicky Henderson won the bumper last night, the last race at Cheltenham. And the performances and the money for his horses suggested to me that he's finally, finally ready to rumble this season. He often doesn't crack them up early like Paul Nichols has this year. But I do think today that the one to be on in this race is Monte Cristo. Available at eight to one each way, ridden by Nico de Bonville in the green colours of Simon Meunier. And Isaac, this was a horse that looked to me last year to have bags and bags of improvement in him. And I believe he'll have a big, big year. Could win a couple of the big handicaps starting today. This is a class two event, but it's not a great class two, let's be honest. Eight to one's a big price. He's stepping up two furlongs after a hugely impressive win at Newbury last time out last year. That does not bother me. This is a very sharp track. And if you can win two mile two at Newbury, you'll get two mile four round the mile mace. So don't worry about the extra distance. That's perfectly fine. He won in soft ground. So the ground is deteriorating, but that's fine too. And eight to one looks a massive price for me. But Monte Cristo each way in the 342 at Aintree. Let's come back just under half an hour to Hexham. And Hexham 315, it's a class four novice handicap chase. It's not a bad race for Hexley, actually. Now, 
Mark Walford, very, very shrewd cookie. He's purchased an Irish import who won it by 16 lengths. And Walford's brought it over here. It's called Janie Mack, and it's available at six to one at the best price. And back that each way, Janie Mack. It went on good to soft. I think it'll it'll get away with the ground up there. And I think this is a potentially very useful import for the Walford Yard. And there's some out of form horses in this race. And I think six to one is way too big. I genuinely, when I first looked at these markets, thought this, this could be three to one, seven to two. Now it's not really drifting, it is being backed. So I don't think there's any weakness. We know the horse is in form. As long as it's settled in all right, Walford is absolutely brilliant actually improving horses that he gets very underrated training operation indeed so he may well improve this horse in time i'm sure it will be fit today and janie mack i think is the one to be on in the 315 at hexham so do these both each way 342 monty christo the old count count i said and 315 at hexham each way janie mack the irish import which I think could be ahead of the English handicap for that very shrewd operator, Mr. Walford, to you. Right, so we've got the double bomb, 499 at the link below. We've got the Simon Says, oh, Botox has, for all you uh, um, plastic surgery fans. I, I, I actually uh, did sleep well last night. I don't know why I woke up in this form. So here yeah, we've got Monte, Monte Cristo, 342. Double that up with Janie Mack in the 315. Do them as two each way singles, comes to 60 to one. And that would make anyone's Sunday afternoon go with a, well, a bang. Now, those of you who are joining me on Sober October, let me just remind you folks, you've done great. Some of you raised uh, money for Macmillan or other good causes, or you've just done it for your own health, fitness, whatever. Difficult thing to do in lockdown. And let me tell you, next Sunday is the 1st of November. So I'll be on here bright and early, and then I'll be up to the feathers, banging on the door to open up. No, I won't. No, I won't. I'll, I've got all of the booze in here ready. So next Sunday, we can have a drink. You've done great. If you're doing it, you're up, You're over the hard bit. You've got one more week to those sober October folks. Right, let's have a fun Sunday. Let's bang in some winners. I'll be back tomorrow. Could be tomorrow morning. Could be tomorrow night. If you subscribe to the channel, it's completely free and click that bell, you will know when I'm on. So give me a thumbs up if you are looking forward to Aintree. Give me a thumbs up if you back that Botox as in the Simon Says trial. If you're gonna do the bomb, give me a thumbs up, or if you're just gonna have a fun Sunday. This is Florida, I'm not there yet. We could all be there when things open up. Let's bang in a 60 to one double, shall we? Have a fantastic day, folks. This is Simon Holden for Holden Sources saying, I'll see you soon, enjoy. <laughs>